Oh, hello. I didn't hear you come in. My name is Jeb Fitz, and I've made a documentary on my friend, Stretcher Miles. Now you may be asking yourself, why would an ordinary unassuming man get a documentary made about himself? Well, that's a good question. You see, around the time that I started, I was unemployed, and I was looking to make a documentary that I could perhaps sell to a network or put on the internet. And I thought, who better to do a documentary on than my good friend, Stretcher Miles? the most boring and socially awkward person I know. However, on the first day of shooting, something very peculiar happened in Stretcher's life, and I was compelled to follow him as that unfolded. So here now for the first time I present to you that very interesting time in Stretcher's life. Enjoy. This is Stretcher Miles. He's 25 years old, a Pisces, and enjoys structured, regimented, well-organized parties. Okay, attention, everyone. Everyone. Excuse me. It's time for the 8.30 game of charades we scheduled earlier. He's a frightfully average man with a fairly average job. For pretty soon, that'll all change. I uh, work downtown in a building called Takanomi Plaza for the company Munty Finger Bottoms. Munty's is basically a front for Kellogg's Corporation. It's just used to divert any negative press or bad publicity lawsuits away from the parent company. Really, one kid from Nebraska finds a dead rat in his Frosted Flakes, and it's a huge deal all of a sudden. I don't understand it. People find severed fingers in uh, packages of Quaker Oats all the time, little known fact. It just comes down to pickiness, I guess. I am the executive assistant of Tangential Marketing Properties, which basically means that I come up with the mascots for our cereals. My newest idea is Mori the Melodorous Marsupial, which will be accompanying our new Mumpy Flakes. I'm really excited about that one and proud. Um, I also came up with the idea of Lucky Charms originally before those sly fellows at General Mills stole the idea while well, it was still in its development phase, but it's okay. I don't harbor any negative feelings. Hey Ace, what's up? Sorry, Stretcher? Nothing. Stretcher's given name was Ace Miles. Stretcher's parents Pictured here in a drawing Stretcher did when he was younger, love the World War I flying ace character in Charles Schultz's comic strip, Peanuts. So much so that they named their only begotten son after the character. Stretcher hated this name so much that when he was a young man, he set off on a series of misadventures to discover himself a new name. After several months and many truly misadventurous romps, he came up with the name Stretcher, and in some cases it was loath to stick, especially in Daisy's case. So how's it going? All right. Uh, what have you been up to lately? Nothing. What are you reading there? A book. Here's that report you needed. Have a good one. Bye. I'm the secretary to Stretcher's immediate superior, Larry. He's the executive of Tangential Marketing Properties. Basically, I'm probably the only woman in the office he hasn't slept with. which basically means he takes you out, tries to get you sloshed, and then does something repulsive in the bathroom. Stretcher, 
yeah, he's an all right guy, I guess. He just takes some, no, I can't do it. He bugs the hell out of me. He has like no social skills whatsoever. Stretcher, that proposal was awesome. I know. So, do we have a deal? One time as a team building exercise, we were playing a compliment game. Well, Stretcher's compliment to me was that I had a nice rack. And now he leaves me little notes explaining why it's a nice rack. What? What, what are you looking at? God. Stretcher wasn't really good with the ladies. His last relationship, which was several years ago, didn't end too well. I started seeing someone else. What? When did this happen? Who is it? It's your sister. Mary? Hey, girl. Hey. I'm sorry, brother. Yeah, it's true. I'm kind of in between girlfriends right now, but hey, that just gives me all the more time to embark on other scholarly pursuits. Like right now, I'm building a 1-1000 scale model of an Autobot Vanguard class deep space interceptor ship, otherwise known as the Ark, out of toothpicks. I'm also getting pretty good at playing the mandolin. Soon me and some buddies I met at Odafest are getting together and we're going to start a classic skiffle band. Well, if it isn't little Ace Miles. Hello, Dustin. How are you? Dustin Wallace and Stretcher have known each other since they were children. And coincidentally enough, Dustin is Stretcher's self-styled arch nemesis, like Snidely Whiplash to Stretcher's Dudley Do-Ray. My mom always used to be like, why can't you be more like Dustin Wallace? Are you still doing that thing? No. Not. When Stretcher was younger, he had a habit that closely resembled his current bosses. But he didn't do it for the same reasons. I can't stress that enough. I don't know what you're doing here, because I don't think there's any little boys in there. <laughs> so. Good one. No, I'm actually waiting for an old friend of my dad's. He's giving me a job. Oh, yeah. Something about cereal. I don't know. I gotta go. At this point in time, I'd like to remind the viewer that this is not a dream. I'm here to warn you about our future, you jackass. Oh my god. Wait, what? Stretcher Miles will return in the next episode. Stretcher's Journey Through Time, Space, and Life, Episode 2. Future Stretcher's Rallying Cry. Hey, take back your future. You don't want to miss this one.